Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought we could talk about LEDs a little bit more and about forward voltage and perceived brightness. And, and of course, we can also get into, you know, how to pick the right resistor for your LEDs. So let's just take a look at these are just basic LEDs bought off of eBay. You know, the ones where you get 100 in a bag or 1,000 in a bag, real cheap. And if we start over here, this is red and orange. I don't have a yellow. That's green, that's blue, and that's purple. So those are our selections that we're going to look at today. Now to start out with, I've got the uh, power supply set at 3 volts at about 30 milliamps. And again, if we look here, let's, uh, let's start with the lowest, the red. The red has, has the lowest forward voltage, and if you're unsure what forward voltage means, without going into a whole big thing, it's the voltage where the LED appears to turn on. And the forward voltage of a red LED like this is about 1.7 volts. And now, get an idea of how bright that seems to you, okay? So now we'll move over to the orange LED, which should have a forward voltage of about 2 volts. Next, the green, which was the forward voltage of green, about 2.2, 2.4. Now, does that seem much, much brighter than the red one to you? Yeah, it does to me as well. Next up is the blue, which has a forward voltage of about 3.5. So this should seem kind of dim as opposed to the rest of them. See how that works? And finally, we have the purple which should also have a forward voltage of about 4.0 4 volts, somewhere in that area. So now you've got an idea of the relative brightness of them. Let's try a little experiment here. Again, I'm going to use the light meter and my one, two, three block if I can find it. All right, so I've got the, I got the light meter here. This me just measure my desk light. Let's power up the red LED. And then I'm going to put it here on the on the block and I'll hit the hold button. And you can see we are getting 767 lux out of that. All right, now let's move over to the green LED. Same power setting and let's see what we get there. 2358. Now, that's incredibly more. So that's why we want to pick different resistor values when we're talking about the color LEDs. Say you're running from an Arduino. So you're going to put 5 volts into this red LED. Say, uh, I'm just doing this math here in my head, so don't scout me if I come up wrong on this. Uh, 220 ohm resistor, you're going to get about 30 milliamps out of it, right? Well, if you put that same resistor on the green, because the forward voltage is higher, you are going to get a higher uh, brightness out of it. So if you want the brightness to appear the same, then we need to control uh, the current going through it. Remember, an LED will take as much current as you give it until it eventually burns out. So you have to be careful with that. Now, I told you what the chart says the forward voltages of these LEDs are. Let's see if we can find out what they actually are. Okay, so we got meter set up here. We'll hook the meter up in parallel with the LED to read the voltage across it. And when that LED lights is what the forward voltage will be. So right about 1.8 volts for our red LED. The chart says, whoops, sorry, hit the, hit the camera. The chart says 1.7, but as you know, nothing is perfect. So we'll say about 1.8. Now let's move over to the orange. Here we go with the orange, powering it up. Okay. 
Oh, Paul, you big dummy. You forgot to move this over. I was like, something very strange is happening. Make sure I get in the right hole. All right, let's try that again. The orange. Here we go. Oh. So the orange lights up. What do you guys see it around? 1.9 volts somewhere in there. Now, I, I can't back it down to the point where it shuts off because that's really not the same thing because you've got to have a little bump at the beginning where it starts. So, yeah, somewhere around 1.9 volts for the orange. All right, let's go over and see the green. Here comes the green. Cranking up the voltage. Now, see how it's flickering there? It wants to come on, but it just doesn't have enough yet. We want it to be solid. So 2.5 volts or so for the green. Now, next up is the blue. I hooked up to the blue, but I'm going to have to turn my coarse voltage control up. I went too far. I just wanted to get it right about 2 volts. Let me try that again. And then we can bring up the... Uh, I missed it, didn't I? Shoot. All right, where's it going to turn on? Where's it going to turn on? I can't get this right. Pardon me for being such a klutz with this. But that's the problem with these little power... There we go. So right about 3.1, 3.2. That's the problem with these power supplies that have the uh, the fine and the, and the coarse controls. They can be a bit of a pain to get them to do exactly what you want. All right, next up, the purple. Here comes the purple. 2.6. So there you have it. Give you a good idea of where these things come in, what their forward voltage is. So if you know the, if you know the forward voltage and you know the power that you want and you don't want to run them any more than, say, 30 milliamps max. If you can keep them between 15 and 20 milliamps, they'll last a whole lot longer. Then you can use Ohm's Law to work out what size resistor you need. Okay. Hope that helped. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, big thanks to all the patrons. Hey, if you haven't seen your name up there yet, I know there's some new ones. I haven't got to it. It'll be up either on this one or the next one. Thank you very much for your support. That's it. I'm out. Peace.